Welcome to Electron Line. You may have heard of the spin flip of the electron. Since the electron does have a spin direction, and that spin direction can be related to the magnetic field caused by the orbital motion, there's an interaction between the magnetic field and the spin of the electron. And the spin of the electron can be oriented in two ways. It can be spin up or spin down. And it can actually transition between those two states. So here we have an example where we have an electron that spin up, and there we have an example where we have an electron that spin down. In addition to that, we also have a spin for the proton in the nucleus. And there is an interaction between the spin of the proton and the spin of the electron. And so when the electron flips the spin from spin up to spin down, or from spin down to spin up, there's going to be an energy interaction between the two. It turns out when both the proton and the electron have the same spin, then, we, then the electron is in a higher energy state. But when the electron is in opposite spin relative to the proton, then we're in a lower energy state. So what happens is, let's say that we have an electron that it has a spin in the same direction as the proton, the electron is zipping around the nucleus, and all of a sudden the electron jumps and, and goes from spin up to spin down. Well, it will emit a photon that will then carry away that energy difference from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. That photon will have a wavelength of 21 centimeter, and in astronomy, that is known as the 20 centimeter wavelength that they look for, so that way they can see through interstellar dust and be able to see, for example, what happens at the other end of the, of the galaxy when it's blocked by all these dusty nebulas. So when we calculate the energy again using hc over lambda, we then get an energy of 5.9 times 10 to the minus 6 electron volts which is about one-tenth the energy difference for the Zeeman effect. Now remember, the Zeeman effect was caused by the interaction between the spin of the electron and the orbital motion of the electron causing a magnetic field to exist. So it was basically the interaction between the, between the spin and the magnetic field caused by the orbital motion of the electron. That caused an energy difference of about 4.5 times 10 to the minus 5 electron volts. But the interaction between the spin of the proton and the spin of the electron, that is about one-tenth as much with an energy difference of 5.9 times 10 to the minus 6 electron volt when it jumps, when the electron jumps from spin up to spin down. And so going from a higher energy state down to a lower energy state. But again, there's a difference there. And the electron can be in either one of the two states, again causing slight differences in the wavelengths emitted when the electrons jump from one to another. And that's how we know these things.